We're going to be practicing subtraction of three-digit numbers. This is lesson 11.8. We've learned that we can subtract from a three-digit number by regrouping. We can regroup 110 as 10 ones, and we can regroup 100 as 10 tens. Look at this picture. This is a picture of the Chicago skyline. See this? See that real big, tall building? That's Willis Tower. It used to be called Sears Tower. Now it's called Willis Tower. Well, Willis Tower is 108 stories tall, and people can see the view of Chicago from the 103rd floor. So people can go way up here in an elevator and look out over the entire city. On Sunday, 329 people saw the view. On Monday, 172 people saw the view. How many more people saw the view on Sunday than Monday? So we have a word problem, don't we? We have to circle the important numbers that can help us. 329, that was Sunday. 172, that was Monday. Is this going to be addition or subtraction? So let's look for our clue words. It says, how many more people saw the view on Sunday than Monday? So it says, how many more? How many more tells us we need to find a difference between these two numbers which means we need to subtract. We can use a work mat with hundreds, tens, and ones. We have our two numbers, 329 and 172. When we subtract 172 from 329, we'll get the difference and we'll know how many more people were on Sunday than Monday. In the ones place, which is where we start, we have 9 take away 2. Well, that's an easy one. That's a 7, isn't it? In the tens place, we have 2, and we need to take away 7. But we can't do that because the seven's so big. So we need to go to the hundreds place and say, can I please have one? He says, sure. He becomes a 2. This 2 now becomes a 12 because he gave one of his to the tens place. See? That's 10 tens. So 10 plus 2 is 12 tens. Now we have 12 take away 7. That's a 5. 2 take away 1 is 1. So there were 157 more people on Sunday than Monday. Okay? It said how many more? So we knew to subtract, and we made sure we labeled our answer as people, because that's what we were counting. All right? Let's see if we can subtract these using what we've learned so far. We have 525 minus 370. We start at the ones place. 5 take away 0. That's easy. That's a 5. We have 2 take away 7. We can't do that. The 7's too big. So we need to ask the 5 for 1. He becomes a 4. This 2 becomes a 12 because he gave 10 tens to the tens place. So that 10 plus this 2 made 12 tens. Now we have 12 take away 7. Well, 12 take away 7 is a 5. And we have 4 take away 3, which is a 1. We have 155. Okay? Let's practice again with another one. We have 841 minus 507. We start at the 1's place. We have 1, and we need to take 7 away. We can't because the seven's so big. So we need to ask the 4 if we can have 1. And he says, sure. He becomes a 3. He gives one of his 10s to the 1's place. So now we have 11 1's instead of 1 1. 11 minus 7 is 4. 3 minus 0 is still a 3 because we didn't take any away. We took away 0. And 8 take away 5 is 3. We have 334. Let's practice with another one. We have 770, and we need to take away 51. See, now we're not taking away any hundreds. We just are taking away 5 tens and 1 1. We have 0, and we need to take a 1 away. We can't, so we ask the 7 for a 10. He becomes 6 tens. And now, instead of no ones, we have 10 ones, because we got one from the tens place. 10 take away 1 is a 9. 6 take away 5 is a 1, and we just drop the 7 down because there's nothing here. We have 719. 
Okay. We need to write these in vertical form and then subtract. So remember, vertical form means stacked like this, one on top of the other. So we have these number sentences, 315 minus 117. We need to write it in vertical form and then subtract. So we write 315. We make sure our columns are straight, and we write 117 for 117. And we're going to subtract. We start with the ones place. 5, take away 7. We can't do that, so we ask the tens place if we can have one, and he says, sure. And the five ones becomes 15 ones. Now we have 15 take away 7. 15 take away 7 is, do you know? It's an 8, because 8 plus 7 equals 15, right? Now we have no tens, and we need to take one ten away. Well, we can ask the hundreds place. Can we have one of your hundreds as ten tens? And he says, sure. So now we do have ten tens there. See? Ten take away one is a nine. Two take away one is a one. We have 198. Now we have a number sentence that says 972 minus 418. And we need to write it in vertical form, stacked. We write 972 minus 418. We make sure our columns are nice and neat. We don't want to confuse them, so we're subtracting the wrong number, so we make sure the numbers are in the correct column. We need to have 2 and take 8 away, and we can't. So we can ask the tens place, the 7, if we can have one of his tens. He becomes a 6. We're going to give a 10 to the ones place. We already have two of them, so if we have 10 more, that means that's going to become 12 ones. 12 minus 8 is a 4. 6 minus 1 is a 5. And 9 minus 4 is a 5. We get 554. Okay? And it's a lot easier to subtract and regroup when they're stacked than when they're in a number sentence. If you're using a calculator, then you can go and use it as a number sentence like this horizontally. But if you need to do the math and regroup, it's better to stack them. Okay? All right, let's take a look at this critical thinking problem. It says circle the most reasonable answer. 583 minus 79 is about 300, 400, 500, or 600. So let's take a look at this. It says 583, and they're taking away 79. Is 79 sort of close to 83? It kind of is, right? 79, 80, 81, 82, 83. So they're really close to each other. So if we took away this 83, we'd still be left with 500s, right? So taking away 79 from this would be really close to 500s. It wouldn't be close to 300. That's too little. And if we take 79 away, that's not going to be close to 400. And it can't be close to 600 because that's bigger. So if you said you think 583 minus 79 is about 500, you're right. This 79 is so close to that 83 that if we just took that away, we would have 500, wouldn't we? See? It's estimating and rounding off. See? Let's try this one. If we have 307 and we want to take away 98, do you think it'll be greater than 300, about 300, or less than 300? Look at this 98. It's really close to 100, isn't it? 98, 99, 100. So if we made this a 100, and estimated and rounded this off as a 100 and took it away from 307. Would it be greater than 300, about 300, or less than 300? Well, 307 take away 100 would be 207, wouldn't it? That's not greater than 300, so that's not right. 207 is not about 300. 207 is less than 300. 
So because the 98 is so close to 100, we could say we're taking about 100 away from this, which would be 207, wouldn't it? See? So it would be less than 300. So if a number is very close to another number, another place value, 98 is so close to 100, we can say, well, we can take away 100 and be pretty close to the right answer, okay? So that would be guessing and estimating, all right? We are going to do subtraction of three-digit numbers in the next video, but it's going to be money. We're going to be taking away money. We're going to be spending money, okay? I hope this helped you, and I'll see you next video. Bye.